Hi, I'm Michael Wolf, PGI Compiler Engineer. Here we're going to do a series of short videos for your very first introduction to parallel programming with OpenACC. We're going to download a short sample program from the OpenACC user group website. You should also be ready to download this so you can follow along and do this on your own. On the screen, you see the git command I'm going to use to get the sample programs. You can use this as well to get the programs on your own computer. I'm going to leave this command at the top of the screen so you can copy that when you're ready. The directory you want to go to is the Contributed Sample Codes Tutorial 1 Solver. We have here a C++ and a Fortran program that implement the same algorithm, a Jacobi iterative solver of a system of equations. You look at the C++ program, there's some comments at the top and a reference if you want to get into more of the details. This is a very simple program which we're just going to use to demonstrate your first experiences using parallel programming in OpenACC. This is an iterative solver which continues until the residual or the error reaches a tolerance. The compute loop is basically a matrix vector multiply and the residual computation is the sum of the squares of the differences between the last and the newest result computation. I'm going to run this program first sequentially to get us a base performance. I'm using the latest 17.3 compilers. This example is a 1000 by 1000 matrix. It takes 4400 iterations to converge. And in this particular computer, it took 6.9 seconds. I'm going to save that 6.9 seconds in the upper uh, screen here. When we built the program, I'm using the 17.3 compilers, PGC++, because it's a C++ program, with the fast option. And I turned on the informational messages, in particular, mInfo equals opt. So I'm getting all the optimization messages. You notice here, it did a, a little bit of loop optimization, removing the zero trip counts. It uh, used some fuse multiply add instructions. That's actually going to be the subject of another video later on. What we're looking at when we're doing parallel programming is for performance. So these mInfo messages are going to help you, as you will see, uh, improve the performance of your program and understand the performance. Let me briefly show you the Fortran version of the same program. So it looks more or less the same. Uh, the, the differences for the sequential program are going to be pretty much inconsequential. You'll see uh, more important differences when we start doing parallel programming. And I can build the Fortran program, again using the 17.3 the compilers. We're going to see it takes fewer iterations. That's not because Fortran is faster or converges faster. It's because I'm building the matrix using random values. And Fortran has a different random number generator than the C++ program. When you start running the programs in parallel, we will see that uh, each of them is going to speed up by, hopefully, uh, appropriate amounts. So the numbers I'm showing here on top are the sequential speeds for the C++ and the Fortran programs. I'm just going to save that. Now I want to run these programs in parallel. Let's go back to the C++ program. And I want to add some OpenACC directives to take the two loops inside the convergence, the outer convergence loop, take the two computation loops and run these in parallel. In this particular case, it's rather simple. Pragma ACC parallel loop around the first loop because that is a truly parallel loop. The convergence loop, well, there's this summation operation here for the residual, so I need to identify that summation. For completeness, I'm going to put a loop directive in front of the inner loop of the first computation loop. It also has a reduction, in this case, a sum reduction for the variable rsum. Now I'm going to build the C++ program uh, for multi-core parallel execution by adding the TA equals multi-core option. That's target accelerator equals multi-core, computing, compiling the open ACC for multi-core execution, and adding the mInfo equals Excel option. So I get the informational messages from the compiler about the open ACC being compiled for the multi-core. And I'll see some interesting messages here. One of them, I see it generating multi-core code for the loop at line 130 and generating multi-core code for the loop at line 143. I also see Pragma ACC loop gang message for the two parallel loops that's going to be running across the cores of my multi-core computation. Uh, the other messages are more or less the same. And 
this is great. This program is now ready to run on a multi-core. Before I execute that, let me insert the same directors in the Fortran program. So here in front of the first computation loop, ACC parallel loop, and inside that, ACC loop. So this is a parallel loop inside a parallel construct with a reduction. And for the residual computation, the same parallel loop with the reduction on the residual variable. I can build this now for multi-core execution with the same flags. You see you get pretty much the same messages, generating multi-core code for the two loops and loop gang for the two loops that are being run in parallel. I encourage you to download those programs and go through the same experiment that I have here. I built this with the latest 17.3 compilers. You can also build this with 17.3 or 17.1 or with the 16.10 community edition that you can download from PGI and install on your workstation, Linux or OS X, or if you have a power system, we have that as well. You should run these, download the same programs and run those and see what your performance is. We will show performance, performance that we get in our next video.